Hello fellow cyborgs and welcome to a book bath box unboxing! Yay! There's a pretty sticker on it! I think there was one on the one before but anyway I'm just excited. So this is the winter book bath box. I supported Winx's Kickstarter so this is the second and perhaps final uh, box that I will be unhauling, unhauling? <sighs> unboxing? for you. But we will have to see. So far I've been very impressed with the book bath box, but at the moment I just do not have disposable income for subscription boxes, like in general, in theory. But in any case, you're not here to hear me talk about things. But I'm excited to get into this and let's undo it. Unbox it. That's... The, open it up. Let's go. <laughs> So this month's box theme is fairies and history, but I'm not going to look at the back yet because it will tell me what is in there and I want to be surprised. I'm going to put this down now, but it looks so pretty. So the first thing I see is a special note from Winx saying that this month's book is actually out of print. So you might be getting a book with some minor shelf wear or reminder marks, but I mean, I like out of print books cool. I already know what this book is, but I'm still excited. And I'm not telling you until we unbox it. Unbox it? Just be patient with me. We also have a, another lovely book, book card. Oh god, my brain's not online. What is this called? My business card. Mm -hmm. Business card. Now let us get into the actual unboxing. So there's some lovely lilac tissue paper that I'm just tearing through like a monster. And then some of these stringy bits, packing things, which I'm just going to leave in place. The first thing I see is a lovely, I'm assuming, bookish candle. This is from Copper and Craft Soy Wax Candles and Melts. This is number 628, Home and Hearth is the scent title. Let's, you guys know I know how to sniff things, so let's give this a sniff. So I think it's like cinnamony vanilla. It's nice. I will have fun. I will have fun burning this, especially I think in the Christmas time, this would be a really good one to burn because it reminds me of just like cinnamon, just kind of like when you walk into Michael's and you get that certain like potpourri smell. It's kind of what it reminds me of. So bookish candle. I am excited for that. Then let's look in here and see what else we have. Then we have from Dust Bunny's Bubbles, a handmade bubble bar called Sugar Plum Fairy. And you're supposed to not use the whole thing at once. Ooh, I'm smelling it through the plastic, but I can kind of smell it. So it's fruity and sweet. What does it remind me of? A candy or something? Maybe pixie sticks? Maybe pixie sticks. So I will, oh, and it's all sparkly and, and swirly. So I will have to have a bath sometime too. Sometime soon? and give this a try. Ooh, then we have tea. This is Harney and Sons. I really like Harney and Sons. They're Tower of London blend, which I have wanted to try, but haven't bought. So this is cool. We get five sachets and it is black tea with dried stone fruit and bergamot and honey flavor. Sounds delicious. This is a black tea, so I'll be sure to have this when I need an energetic boost in the morning and not accidentally have it at night and then stay up till 4 a.m. But I am very, very excited to see this. And also we have a very lovely like purple theme going on. I like it. We have a bookmark. This is interesting. It looks like an elfin warrior. And then on the back, we've got like a chalice and one of those coronation ball things. And it says HTTPS society 6.com slash dorkabrain. So I'm assuming that that is where this originates, but very exciting. And now we are going to finally get to the book. Oh, please don't fall all over the floor. Don't fall all over the floor. Okay, go back in your box, go back in your box. So here is the book pick, which is... 
Ooh, this is a pretty cover. Midnight Never Come by Marie Brennan of A Natural History of Dragons and the Isabella Trent biography series on booktube. This looks like a brand new copy, so that's exciting. I would have taken one of the mild shelfware ones though, Winx, just so you know. So this is about Elizabethan England and a fairy underworld and spies from both sides and intrigue. That's from what I can remember from the Goodreads thing. Let me read the back and then I will let you know if I got anything wrong. No, I pretty much got it down from what I remembered, except for there's gonna be some romance, hopefully. That will be nice. So I am excited to get to this and it's very pretty and it's Elizabethan and it's fairies. <laughs> should be good. I'm also definitely excited because Winx must have loved this since it's in her bath book box. Book bath box? What is it? I always get it wrong. Book bath box because books take priority over baths. So that was my winter book bath box unboxing. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the goodies that were in here and please let me know in the comments down below if you are going to be picking up the Marie Brennan book because I'm sure that would make Winx so so happy. Thank you very much Winx for yet again putting together an absolutely wonderful book bath box. I'm so incredibly impressed with your bookish bathish skills and hopefully I will be joining your subscriber, your permanent subscribers in the not too distant future. Thank, thank, thank you for watching watching and until next time continue to be lovely and as always patrons thank you very much for being a part of this channel i really love seeing you guys there and hopefully hearing your feedback if you have any feel free to let me know because you are awesome people and deserve to be listened to and catered to but in any case i hope you as always are having a wonderful day